guys, it's me, Ritha Dad. I have a quick challenge for you today. So I'm going to show you two different images and your job is to tell me the difference. Here we have the first image and here's the second image. Yeah, the difference is pretty clear. First thing I noticed was the littered versus unlittered beach. This one was a lot dirtier and this one was a lot cleaner. And the second difference I noticed was the change in water. This one had muddy, dirty brown water, whereas this one was like clear and blue and nice. That second picture was actually from a beach in India. Apart from the aesthetics, what are the other effects of having beaches that look like this? here at Juhu Beach today and as you can see there's a lot of different trash that's inside the water and along the beach. There's some plastic over there and inside the water there are lots of dirt particles. My question is how does this clear blue water change into this filthy brownish water? How does this happen? What is the effect it has on us and what is the effect it has on the marine life inside the ocean? What's the science of ocean pollution? As you've seen at the beach and will later see in our experiment, our oceans are being heavily polluted. But what are the causes of this pollution? And how is it impacting our environment and people around the world? While there are natural causes of ocean pollution, like windstorms, fish waste, and volcanoes, 80% of ocean pollution comes from the land, and that's primarily caused by humans. Major land-based pollutants include household and industrial waste that flows through sewer systems into rivers and finds its way into the oceans. Watch my water pollution video to learn more about how we've been polluting our rivers. But back to ocean pollution. Waste that makes its way into oceans include plastics, fertilizer runoff, religious offerings, and carbon dioxide emissions. Let's start with plastics. One question that comes up is, don't we recycle most of our plastics? Well, unfortunately, 80% of plastic waste entering the oceans comes from countries with high levels of poverty. Globally, we only recycle about 15% of our plastics, and about one-third of all our plastics enter our environment, with 8 billion kilograms of plastic dumped into the oceans each year. That's equivalent to one garbage truck of plastic being dumped into the ocean every minute. By the end of this video, about 10 garbage trucks of plastic will be dumped into the ocean. And if we don't do anything about it, by the year 20, 30, we'll be doubling the amount of plastics we add to our ocean each year. That's two garbage trucks a minute. And by 2050, we're projected to double again to four garbage trucks per minute, or one every 15 seconds. By 2050, we'll have more plastic in all of our oceans than fish. And what hurts even more is what happens to the plastic once it enters the oceans. A basic plastic bag can take 10 to 20 years to decompose, and a plastic bottle, that can take about 450 years to decompose. And affecting not just us, but more than our next 15 generations of descendants. Plastics are derived from oil and chemical additives. We have over 150 billion kilograms of plastics in our oceans, including more than 20 billion kilograms of chemical additives. A single plastic bottle disintegrates with the help of the sun and other factors into tiny microplastics that are less than 5 mm in width. That single plastic bottle can break off into 10,000 microplastics in the ocean. Those microplastics are then consumed by fish and make their way up the food chain, introducing chemical toxins back into humans. The fish we eat could include microplastics from the water bottles we drink from. That's why scientists are finding and the biggest fattish fish have the highest levels of mercury, PCBs, and other dioxins. What's the impact of fish in the oceans? In 20 years, most coastal fishermen may have very little to no fish left to catch because of pollution and overfishing. 17% of global protein currently comes from fish. The FAO estimates that fisheries and aquaculture support the livelihood of 10-12% to of the world's population, many of whom will be at risk. Let's now look into another major ocean pollutant, fertilizers. Farmers tend to overuse fertilizers which causes excess nitrogen and phosphorus to seep into groundwater and ultimately make their way into oceans, creating disastrous consequences. Nitrogen and phosphorus create algal blooms, which are rapid over-concentrations of growth, feeding off nutrient-rich agricultural waste. This rapid overgrowth forms on the surface, blocking sunlight, releasing toxins, and self-destroying its natural environment, and ultimately killing much of the plankton, plants, and fish under the algal bloom, rendering the body of water incapable of supporting life. Plankton are at the bottom of the food chain, but why do plankton matter? Most ecosystems in the water depend on plankton, including fish and corals. Plankton are photosynthetic microscopic single-celled organisms that absorb the sun's energy and carbon dioxide. They're consumed by small fish, which are then eaten by larger fish, and which are finally eaten by the dominant species. When the number of plankton decreases, then the other fish in the food chain begin to starve. When fertilizer runoff produces algal blooms, it can lead to dead zones in the water, which kill plankton. A dead zone occurs when there is no oxygen in that area of the water. 70% of the Earth's oxygen comes from the oceans. And do you know who produces most of that oxygen from the oceans? Hopefully you guessed it. LinkedIn! Let's take a quick look at simulating what this looks like in the ocean. This here is a fish tank which I'm going to use to represent the ocean. First, I'm going to put some animals into a fish tank. 
Now I'm going to start putting in all the different components that we humans are putting into our ocean. First, I'm going to start with plastics. We put in a bunch of plastic sheets, plastic bottles. Lastly, there's the papers. Next, I'm going to put in some foil. Next, we have food waste. This to represent religious idols. This here represents fertilizers. And this is for oils, from various oil spills that we have. From fertilizer in the water runoff, that tends to cause phosphorus and nitrogen atoms are added to the water. That creates algal blooms. These algal blooms cover the entire surface of the water. It's very harmful as they not only block the sunlight from reaching the various plants and animals underneath, but they're also toxic. So whenever animals eat these, they end up dying. This often leads to a dead zone. Okay, so as you can see, this is very dark in here, which represents a dead zone. This is when there's no more oxygen in the water, so none of the plants can breed, none of the animals can breed. They're all just going to die in this area, so they have to migrate to a different part of the ocean. All these different items that we as people, as a community, are putting into the water are harming animals. Who are dying because of this are also contracting disease. They're getting sick, which is then getting transferred into our food sources, killing us as well. We need to start doing everything that we can to make sure that our ocean is cleaner, that we can have healthier marine ecosystem, therefore making our own food healthier. I'd like to know how you felt after watching this video and realizing the effects that we humans have on the marine life and on the coastal life. Comment those responses down below. So what's preventing change? Unfortunately, one study found that 40% of adults worldwide have not even heard of climate change. And in developing countries like India, that number can rise to about 65%. Plus, there are many vested interests and misinformation about the scientific validity of our environmental impact. So how can you help make an impact? Psychologist Nathaniel Brandon wrote, The first step toward change is awareness. One simple step you can take today is to spread this video to raise awareness of climate change. Educate others about science with impact.